If you want to make the law of attraction work easier in your life, something that's really important, I think, is the model of reality you use, how you see reality all of the time, during your whole day. And the reason why is in order for it to work, uh, you need to feel good all the time and you, you need to trust the process all the time too. Not only during the 10 minutes in the morning when you're visualizing. And so basically only enlightened people know what reality actually is. And so the best model of all for reality is no model at all. And, uh, but that's, that's not where we are, like uh, most of humanity. And so if your mind is polluted by concepts and thoughts and beliefs, I think you might as well choose the one that serves you best. So choose the model of reality that serves you best. For the law of attraction, there's a, there's a bunch. You can believe, so I'm gonna go from the most like um, logical or scientific to the most spiritual one. So the first one, the first model that you wanna have, is, that you can have is like uh, that you can reprogram your mind, you can reprogram your subconscious mind um, by repeating stuff and feeding it stuff. And then what's going to happen is your subconscious mind is going to uh, make you take certain actions and also see certain opportun opportunities in your surroundings that you wouldn't have noticed before because of the reticular activation system. So there's, um, there's on like every second, there's so many informations that come to you through your senses that your mind has to filter 99% out so that you're not completely overwhelmed. And how it does that is through the reticular activation system. And so you only see the stuff that you think is relevant to you. But if you think that nothing is in the outer world is, real, um, is relevant to you because you're fucked and because the world doesn't like you or whatever, uh, then you're not going to see opportunities. So what you can do is try to change that belief and then you're gonna start seeing new opportunities. And, um, and that's just like a subconscious mind thing. Then what you can think is maybe that the law of attraction somehow works like magically, you know, you don't really know why and uh, this is also a model I feel like people are using. They don't really know why, but it's just working, you know? So they still believe in the physical universe where humans on earth and somehow our thoughts just have like this tremendous impact. Then there's this mo the model that comes just like uh, kind of with it and or just like after that. And it is that everything is energy, everything at a deeper level, like there is no matter because matter is energy itself. If you zoom into matter, then you're first gonna see molecules and you're gonna see atoms. In an atom, it's like 99% void because there's a, um, there's like the, the core and, uh, and around it, there's electrons and even electrons are not really matter because when you try to look at them, you don't, uh, I don't remember how it is exactly, but they can behave like matter or like vibration. But basically the best way we can try to describe them is as energy and as probability of presence. So we don't even know where they are. You know, we don't, we just know that the, the probability of where they are. So it's not, you know, it's not really matter. And uh, even if you go in the core, to the core of the atom, then you have like, uh, you have neutrons and then that's where my knowledge started to become a little bit lacking. I don't remember, but even these, like, even these pieces, they're just energy. They're not actual matter. And even if they were matter, you notice that like matter is 99% void in energy anyways, even if there's 1% matter. So what's actually happening is you are a vibrational being, you're sending out energy vibration and the universe is responding to it. And if you want to, uh, the universe to give you, so to attract stuff with law of attraction, you have to give to the universe. And every action you do, every thought you have, um, 
is like uh, either a giving act or a taking, a giving act or a taking act. And uh, you first have to become more aware of why you're doing things. Is it to please? Is it to give love? And the more you give, the more you receive. Then, after that model, there is probably the dream perspective, subjective reality. Yes, I think that's the one. So that's where you think that somehow you're not, uh, it's kind of a non-duality perspective. You are everything. You're not your body. You're not who you think you are, but you are the dreamer who dreams everything up and everything is a reflection of your subconscious mind, of the mind that's not matter. It's not, not a physical mind. And um, it's kind of the same thing in the matrix, you know, or a simulation. And so at a deeper level, you are not your body. And the thoughts are the thoughts actually of the dreamer, like when you are having a dream. And the thoughts and your emotions, they just have like a direct impact of, on the dream and the dream responds directly. So you're actually creating the dream every time you observe the dream because that's what's happening when you're dreaming. It's not reality, right? It's just something you're creating in your own mind. So that's how you can see it too. It's like uh, through your beliefs and your thoughts, the, the dream is kind of shaped, you know, when you're observing it. Um, then there's the perspective that uh, we are all like uh, part of God, we're creators and we're creating reality at every moment, like this, every second. And there is nothing like, uh, there's nothing uh, probably, how do you say, backstage? No, I don't remember, but basically uh, you, you're creating your reality at every second through, th through your thoughts, beliefs and emotions. So that's pretty powerful because everything depends on you. But I think that like the ultimate model uh, that's the one I hold like during the whole day and it is that we are only we're all basically consciousness there there's nothing that really exists in and of itself um, so it's not like there's matter and there's consciousness in matter so there's consciousness in the physical world I think there's consciousness and then there's the physical world because if there weren't any consciousness then we wouldn't be able to be conscious of a physical world. And so what I believe is we're consciousness and there's only now, past and future, future are an illusion and everything exists at the same time as potential. And uh, when you are conscious of a certain parallel reality, so one potential of this infinite potentials that exist, you're kind of collapsing all the energy and you're manifesting something, but that something already existed as potential anyways. You just had to connect through it through your own vibration and then boom, there it is. Everything is like uh, falling into place and you're, you're manifesting a parallel reality. But what you're doing is only being conscious of a parallel reality. You're not creating it. And so, that's how I try to see reality during the whole day. And I'm, I'm shifting between uh, different paradigms or models of reality. When I'm really stressed, I'm going back to default, which is like, I'm a human, I'm scared, I have to like, uh, figure out how to, like, how to um, make this situation work. And then I forgot, forget about all of this. And then I'm just like, okay, like, let's move stuff with my hands and I'm super stressed and I'm rushing. And uh, so my mind is, is constantly shifting between these models. But what you can do with these models of reality is to just like pick the one that is most convenient to you, that uh, makes you feel best because you believe in it. You truly believe in it. You think that's how reality works. Uh, it makes you feel good it in, and it enables you to know that you are going to be able to change your life easily in a fun way and that somehow the world is a beautiful and positive place that is there to support you. And then you try to hold this model and to see everything through the lens of your model all the time. And what you want to aim for basically at the end is to see everything through that model all the time. 
And then that's how you're going to use the law of attraction easier because it's just going to make things easier because right now you're already seeing the world through a lens. You're not seeing the real world like it is. Otherwise you'd be enlightened. You just like have the sensory input, no interpretation whatsoever and everything is meaningless. So you just be in awe like, like all the time, but you're not. So you're interpreting reality. And either you, you keep your default model of reality, which is for every human being basically believing in a physical world, or you try to choose something that's more convenient to you and that makes the law of attraction works better. And um, yeah, that's it. But just know that you already have an interpretation, a program running about reality. So you're not going to like uh, to take a program and put it in your brain. You already have one. You just want to change it so that it serves you and uh, so that you have a better life. <laughs> Thanks for listening.